So I grew up mostly with my sisters in my grandmother's house. She lived on the Lower East Side in Baruch Projects. It was very chaotic. A lot of people coming in, a lot of people coming out. My parents weren't really around at all. My aunts and uncles, they were pretty much all on some sort of drug. We didn't always have somebody to just be there. People used us more than they tried to sit down and care for us. Carmen was my aunt, my mother's sister. I remember her more than my mother when we were young. Carmen was like my emotional security, what I think any kid needs. You're seven, what do you know? Just like to go to for reference, she was that person for me. She was also a heroin addict, and through sharing needles, she got AIDS. There was just a lot of, a lot of times where, where I knew that she was sick, and then, like, she was just gone. Zayel, I feel like she wanted to escape, because she'd be outside a lot and hang out with, like, the kids outside, and I never used to do that. My neighborhood is known for having problems with literally our neighbors, the neighborhood right next to mine. I was turning 13. Somebody who was 14 shot and killed a good friend of mine. So Dante was four years older than I was. When he passed away, she was just distraught. And it was her birthday, and it's just some young kid. But for me, it was, it was like a calling, you know? Like something has to be done. I think the biggest hurdle for her is loss. She has lost so many people in her life in such a short period of time. School was my comfort. And I was able to put what I found out were my talents to use. To see her come to school every day with her big backpack and her giant thing of books and study during her lunch period and just so excited for school just was very intriguing to me. Like at home, there wasn't anything that I would be praised for. But at school, you know, you get rewarded. She's gonna be the class valedictorian. I think everyone is extremely excited about that. I am not a genius <laughs> because that's everyone's thing. So I'm also a genius. I've always been a genius. I'm not a genius. I just work hard, and that can get you anywhere. I knew that I wanted to go to Barnard from the minute that I stepped on campus. I was like, oh, you know, it was like the holy grail. She did apply early decision. She just went full force, attending every possible Barnard event that they ever had when she found out. And the first thing that she said is, this doesn't happen to people like me. No one in my family like went to college or does college. My older sister, Jalen, was the first I'm kind of like annoyingly proud. I'm like to strangers, hey, you know, she's going to Barnard. I don't know if you knew this, but uh, she's, go she's going there. Yeah, my sister, yep. I see her working in communities where she is going to understand, but she's also going to lead and make change. Now, Zayla's doing a lot of work for the Lower East Side. She's doing workshops for the youth there. Know your right to Our goal is to get them thinking about what could make the Lower East Side better for them. The death of, of my Aunt Carmen, that just had to do with, with drugs and not having opportunity. So Dante was more like in my face and I was old enough to look around. I know that I'm supposed to help people, but also help myself in that process and just help where I'm from. That's sort of what Beat the Odds is about. People who don't come from much or who have this huge story that seems like it would have ruined their entire life, but they decided that they wouldn't let it. <laughs>